Hawthorne win. They stay undefeated, but they were tested at times today. The top team challenged all day by the bottom team, but in the end they prevailed. We knew it was going to be a tough grind. We didn't bring our best game to the table today. Full credit to the Demons. But we know we've got another significant challenge again next week against the Dogs who are in, in super form. Seconds tick, Johnson again. Two seconds left, one siren. <laughs> one man, one kick. He misses. There's some things out of the game we can learn from, and uh, I think you got to address those and talk about them, which uh, which we've done, but we've moved on very quickly. And um, obviously playing the top side in the competition is going to be a big challenge, but I think from a player's point of view, we're looking forward to it. It is the match of the season so far, and it is a sellout crowd at Aurora Stadium in Launceston. It's been a big week for Hawthorne. They've crashed through the 40,000 members mark, and much of that growth has been right here in Tasmania. And many Bulldogs fans have made the trip down, and they come here with high expectations. It is a showcase event here on Fox Sports as the Western Bulldogs hit the track. Liam, they've only been here once before in 2003, and there's only eight of those players are back again today. First time for the year. Two sides in the top three are meeting each other. And wherever you're watching right around Australia, we hope that it lives up to its expectations. And we've got a, a whistle straight away. Ross has pushed forward. Misty kicks it high, mincing his target. Ball at ground level. Free kick Bulldogs. It's going back to Boyd. I thought he had was in possession then. Oh, yeah, just knocked out in the tackle. Maybe held on too long. Cooney ends up with it on the left boot, 35 metres. He's a polished performer and he slams it through. Adam Cooney doesn't miss many like that. The other end of the side of the ground, that opened up the whole ground to their forward thrust. And they used the ball well here, cross a quick handball in. Well done by Cooney to finish off, but well done to the Bulldogs. They worked their way through that moving zone to the Hawks. Hudson backs himself to take it out of the air. It's Good give from Boyce. Close. Griffin got it. Johnson spots Akamanis. Now, on the mix-up here, Akamanis is up against Crowe. And he just bangs it to the goal square. In the end, quick play of the football. Gave Minson a chance to run onto it. Smart football from the Bulldogs. Good. Four disposals already. Minson 10-2 for the season. Would love to make it 11. Almost shaves the post, but he gets the Bulldogs second. And they hit the front for the first time. The win. Young. Diving attempt at the mark. They've still got possession, oh. or have they? Boyd and Mitchell, the two number fives. Boyd doesn't get the free kick first yeah, time, gets the second one. Cooney's free, free kick there. Just Chance Bateman, boys. He's had about four possessions and a quick kick into the forward 50. Johnson's there. This is that matchup I'm worried about. Virtual on Johnson. I said it before. Oh, oh John, I was going to play on them, but I think he had to go back over his mark. So it's good for him that he's got almost an identical kick. 35 metres, almost directly in front. He's back, because he's just banged it straight through. Champions don't make mistakes two weeks in a row, Matty. Absolutely. Of course, it was a different position, kicking after the siren to win the game. A... We know Robert Murphy is. Heads to the top of the square. Tall timber required. Late got up there. Roving Mitch Hahn, dribbling it. Took a right-hand turn at the goalpost. who was heading through. There's a man coming off the bench. Big Min Will. <laughs> And he went straight past it. Oh, oh, big will. It's only a free kick. It's not downfield, but he just put down Lewis after he got rid of that handball. Lewis on hands and knees. Got it out to Clark. In turn, Sewell now. Against the boundary line. Puts Ellis under pressure. Gilby arrives. Incorrect disposal. Cooney. It's coming back. Oh, it has to come back. She kicked the goal. Not a bad finish from Adam Cooney. Well... Not sure he had much prior. Oh, he put the hands up. I reckon that's probably a bit stiff. This breeze. 7 5 for the season. Oh, Is it swinging? Back. No, it's holding its line. It's too good a kick, Lindsay Gilbert. <laughs> that was as straight as could be. Head high. He's used Hudson in the middle of the ground. He wants a runner. He gets one. Cross. Throws it on the boot. Murphy at the back. Leaping oh, and marking. Bob Murphy. What a quality player. Hargrove didn't want to use Cooney, spotted some players out wide, but the siren sounds. Well, we expected a good game of football. We expect the scores to be close right throughout the afternoon. He's inside forward 50 here. If this ball comes free, it's going to go over the back. Almost did. Campbell got knocked to the ground by Johnson. He's going to get it back. Akamanis swooping. Like this. Jason Akamanis. Oh. 
has decided to eat it and then spit it back out. <laughs> Who said they'll eat Cows. it? Cows. <laughs> it for the dogs. Boyd and Cross. Boyd's going to play on, give it over the top to Cross. In turn, Murphy. Tight angle for Murphy. Gets back on the left. Spots a player. Hudson's got it. And again, good ball use by the Western Bulldogs. Oh, just great play there. And look. He hasn't missed one, though. And just like Robert Campbell for Hawthorne, <laughs> another Ruckman kicks his first behind for the season. He was back with Williams on the centre wing. Yes, it was the tackle that set it up. Now Cross gets one high from the restart. It's a two-point margin. And they've kicked the last two goals, the Hawks. And Ben Hudson came off. Oh, oh hang on. Uh oh this might be reversed. Uh, it's just... Uh, well done to Hayden Kennedy. And Hudson seems to be limping. He's come off now. That would be that would be a concern as we have a look at this reverse a free kick. Well, oh, normally, very they, lucky. normally they pay that, but well, Cyril's got nothing in front of him here, nothing. He's going to try and measure the pass to Williams. Late goes back. Williams arrives, oh, but strong hands by the big man again. He played on. Oh. He was going to ground. He flipped the handball back out, and they're going to give it up. And, oh, and they're going to give it up to Buddy Franklin. You'd think it's his birthday, they've gifted him two. It's lifted their rating here. This was a great mark by Lake. Terrific effort. Well done, but then trying to be a little bit too cute. Yeah. Near the ball. Gets around Eagleton, goes back to Kennedy. Eagleton arrived for oh. the tackle. Good second effort, wins the ball. Yeah, that's it. Slice of kick. It's a beautiful kick to Clark. He just tried to get rid of Hahn. That's not that easy. He's a no, very strong man. Really <laughs> Clark on Hahn. Mismatch. Ackermanis. Stayed and waited. No one to kick to except Welsh. Oh, Welsh. Did, that well. did enough in front of Clark. Oh, You'll get 50, 50 metres. That has to be 50. And there it is. Well, Lewis got now. Let's go to two ends of the spectrum here. You've got Lake doing it up one end. Nearly gives a free kick away. And Jordan Lewis did not have to get involved in this play at all. We knew it was either a free kick or a mark. And just watch here, Jordan Lewis, 50 metres every time after the whistle's gone. The reply to come from Welsh to put the Bulldogs back in front. He kicks it almost into the car park here at Aurora Stadium. Full handball to Birchall. Setting up Hawthorne, not his best kick, still alive. Williams, usually, oh, half volley's a good one. That's a throw. Shit. First give was yeah. on the Rioli then. He's facing goals. Ryan, well, you have a shot here, Boyd. 55 metres out, heads to the top of the square, just pulls the kick. Johnson, Ackermanis, it was a quick give, he couldn't quite get it around the corner. Is he back eating again, Jason? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, they need to try and hopefully he can come back on, but if he can't, that'll be an area that the Hawks will try to exploit. Here's Big Mill, Big Will, takes it out of the ruck as he scores. He just manages it behind. I wouldn't be unhappy with that matchup. Yep. Gian Syracuse did well ball. from the clearance. Addison runs into trouble though. Now, luckily, it fell for Johnson. Eagleton up. gets it from Boyd. And an open forward line. Into the pocket. Welsh got it. And Scott Welsh likes to kick a goal. Yeah, go back. Take it on yourself. That's his job. Welsh kicked the last goal for the Western Bulldogs. Can he make it two in a row? Stretch the lead to 10 points. A stuttering run up is good enough. Brings it back on the breeze. And a little bit of breathing space for the Western Bulldogs, who do have some momentum, Liam. Keep your feet. Comes out towards Ooh, Murphy. That's a big hit. Yep. That's a big hit. He's out. Tom Murphy. And the book's coming yeah. out. Is it Ellis? Xavier Ellis, I think. Yep, Xavier Ellis and yeah. rough conduct the report. You heard that. Yeah, Robert Murphy. Well, I, think, I want to see this again. Has he got a hospital handball, as they say? I think he's fine. Oh, he's got a bit of blood, blood nose. A bit of blood from look. It was a bit of a floater. The ball bounced it. Oh, oh, yeah. he's, he's they're, they're those ones that are 50-50, I think, sometimes that can happen in a game. And he did take his eye off the ball. Wasn't an elbow. Didn't lift an arm. But he has made contact with it. Now, what? Gillum misses the target, but... Well, in the end, Daniel Cross went back to get it. Gee, he put Wilson, uh, Hudson oh, under pressure. Oh, Somehow got it to oh, Addison. In turn, Tiller. Advantage will be paid. Griffin. Will he use Ackerman as he gets told to kick the goal? Ryan Griffin does what he's told. Bulldogs out to 16 points. I believe a number of Hawthorne players ran over the ball and took their eye off the ball. I think it was Cyril Rioli on that occasion. And they are giving him heaps at the moment. Because that turnover 
only came about by a player not keeping his head over the ball. Kennedy trying to find Campbell on the up. Lewis, strong and tough in over the footy. Umpire gave them plenty of time, and it's a 10-point game with six minutes remaining. And that was a much-needed goal by the Hawks. I'm just wondering, Rowan Smith might be able to answer this. Just Robert Murphy, will it work? Oh, we've got an injury here. Behind Clay. Is it? And even the Hawthorne player signalling to the bench, to the trainers, to get out of here. His Hawthorne opponent. Brad Johnson? Not sure. Is it Brad Johnson? I'm just saying... It's again, is it? But, you know, because... Uh, he's, back. He's, 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 he's bleeding, he's, mate. Yeah, it is. OK, blood draw. We've got a blood draw. We're waiting. Oh, yeah, he's got, got a nick on the eye. Let's have a look here. Oh, it oh, might have been a bit of a. Gee, he should have got a free kick for a head high there, but yeah, no, he got the knee over the top. Campbell just came, out, came in over the top. What's happened here? Oh, is it just a bit wobbly oh. there? See that came across, and then here he goes down, and all of a sudden he gets the wobbles you know, up. You know what I think he's done? He's tried to wipe with the blood on the and just the blood on the grass, and then when he got low, maybe the hit. That's going to hit you when you put your head down. They normally say that sometimes when, when you're flying. To put your head. That looked like it was a delayed reaction, no mm. doubt. Look, he'll, he'll have a look at it, obviously. It was a little bit of high contact, but uh, I don't think it will affect him in the game. Hawthorne having a real problem getting it out of defence here. Virtual court again. Eventually, Mitch Hahn rolls in. And he's just pushed it right. They deserve better there, the Bulldogs. He was pointing to Hargrave. He said, use Hargrave. But now, Hawthorne have shut it down. Welsh got it in the end. They used the ball well, didn't panic. I reckon he's not only got him in height, I reckon he's got him with a bit of speed too. He's kicked two for the quarter. This would be his most difficult from outside the 50 metre line. As soon as he kicked it, he celebrated. Three for the quarter for Scotty Welsh. And then he worked from the other side there. He worked from centre half forward across the ground laterally. To some space and that is a fantastic kick down here and he's been a dangerous four that's and they surge here the western bulldogs eagleton ran forward got it from gilby wobbles a terrible kick forward but it's still alive for the moment welsh has kicked three for the quarter going back <laughs> murphy wants none of it look at the power of the band pushing through with a clever handball back to addison they work it out gilby one two with hudson now he's got a bit of time to sum up his options into the pocket beautiful kick from gilby eagleton on the lead and the dogs once again good use of the football oh. but right behind him he's kicked five four for the season he's made it half a dozen and the bulldogs lead now is something for hawthorne to think about it just takes a lot of skill to do this he's outside 50 and he hits it to a, out in space and he just runs onto it that is a brilliant kick oh. by lindsay gilby and that's why teams spend so much time putting work into lindsay gilby because exactly that when he gets the foot he uses it so well and they get the ball at ground level or do they okay, what well, he's hurt himself here big buddy well, it's either, it either has to be dropping the ball or in the back. One or the other, you would have thought, but Franklin, a little bit slow to get to his feet. Well, there, this is great work. Will's having a go. Don't. I wouldn't upset Buddy. I think you're going to right, Bulldogs. Let it go. Yeah, I don't think the time... Although, if you're going to have a chat, probably not a bad time to do it. You're not going to get, give away a free kick. No. Threads it through, but misses cross. Hargrave got it from Hudson. Kick. And that finds Griffin, who loves to take and go. Out in front of Akamanis, judged yeah, it nicely. Yes. Birchall got lost. Terrific play, Akamanis. From right on 50, gives it everything he's got. It's just to the behind, so the drought continues for Jason. Now, boys, we've got a problem. I think it's Callum behind yep. play. That knee was a problem before half time, and it looks like he's done something behind his knee. He's come straight off the ground. Boys. Callan a casualty so far for the dogs as they head forward. Tiller, Murphy. Oh, kick. Perfect. Look at the kick. I don't reckon there's a better user of the footy in the game than Robert Murphy. Across from the Crows, kicked four goals in the opening round. He's trying to emulate that and kick his fourth, and he's missed that one. Oh, there. Yeah. He's just hooked that left, and he's getting plenty from Campbell. Takes a dive. Handball. Cooney. Now he spotted someone in the pocket. Two on one. Taylor this. Tall man standing strong. Risky kick too. It is. And this man, gee, it's going to come down to who can control the ball enough. It just hung out to the right. It stayed on its line. 
Let's see if this hangs up too, Matty. There could be a bit of wind going that way. Yeah, this would be a good indication because he's got a kick from outside 50. Jeez, punches right. it hard. Punches it well. Punches it through. Arguably the best kick in the competition. Powerful kick out. It was a look at Tim Callan there. Looks like he's got a yep. left hamstring problem. Just Here's Osborne. Spinning out of trouble. Got boot to ball, but it didn't go far enough for him. Murphy. Johnson's back on the ground and he's got it. Measures the pass. Mm. Cooney. So he immediately played on Johnson. Hits it left. Coming back. Wants Coming it to back. Come back. That's a Gilby kick. And learned from Lindsay Gilby. Two to Cooney. Two in a row to the Western Bulldogs. They answer the challenge. Chill. Oh, even this handball has put him under some enormous pressure. But they're spreading wide if they can just get it there. They can't. It comes back towards Zach the Western Bulldogs. Acker gets it from it Johnson. Quick. He just hits to the square. Welsh going back in good position. Got it. Welsh will kick his fourth. And Johnson and Ackermanis combine well. I'm telling you, I'll say one word and the turnaround. Pressure. Welsh for four. 26 points the margin, three in a row to the Western Bulldogs. Fantastic play. Pressure they put on from behind that forced that high looping handball. And they're a bit flat footed at the moment, the Hawks. And the Dogs with all the running, which was wow. is, is. The turnover comes for Hawthorne now. Osborne oh, okay. oh, no. had Rioli on. Lake was in the way. Tell you, we were out of the ball. Now they're just acting for free kicks. So mentally, the pressure's. Campbell. Hudson, cross, inventive, Murphy, explosive, Murphy to the goal square. Oh, Griffin. Griffin too strong, and the Dogs will get another. Great combination from the stoppage. He was always going to out be a bit too strong for Bateman if it came one-on-one. -on -one. He's a lot much taller player, but he, the third man out, I think it was Osmond, and he passed like ships in the night. He, he actually jumped too early. And missed it. And what's the reaction of Chance Bateman? Oh, he just had a go at Osman. Now they're starting to blame each other. That's not a good sign. But you can see Chance Bateman. Oh, is it Johnson? As Osman goes off. And Sewell goes back to relieve some pressure for Hawthorne. Now the switch is on. Got to be very clean with the kick. Needs to get a lead. Oh, no, no, no. Still a good courage in front of Williams. The young man from South Australia. Game number eight. Hacker wants it. Look at it. <laughs> Great courage by Tiller. Yeah, give it, give it to Gilby. Gilby. The leg. Oh, why not? Designated kicker from 60. Yeah, right, right to the line. Oh, and we'll have a rush behind. Well, I'd give it to uh, Every time. Have a look at this. Now, you win respect in the football world when you do things like that as a youngster. I think to win the quarter. They're down by 27 at the moment. Bateman with a switch. Oh, not a sure about that. Switch. Welsh comes out. Strong mark. Good mark, Scott Welsh. He's had a fine afternoon. Well, it's like, look at this mark. It's a shocking switch of play to a flat-footed player that came to the mark. That's the difference. But they've got a pretty open forward line. Rough head. No, the kick oh, too long. Mark. That was too slow. Too slow. Didn't swing in board quick oh, enough. Kick. Siren sounds. The Western Bulldogs were challenged, but in the end, they've won the quarter. Now, Hawthorne have won nine straight. They have won nine last quarters straight from Cooney and the tackling again from the Bulldogs. Boyd to Ray, bit of a fumble, but they've oh, got runners out. forward. Mitch Hahn has got all the time in the world from 50 metres for the opening goal of the quarter. He pulls it left. She had a couple of... <laughs> one of the Hawthorne forwards. Yeah, it was the non-officiating umpire. But anyway, it's Gilby. Low, punches it to too Mitch Hahn, too strong. Sewell's got the job. Oh, oh good release too. Ackermanis. In the back. Gets a push in the back. It was... I don't know about the decision by Mitch Hahn to use him. He might kick a goal. Well, he needs to kick this and really put him away if he does. Well, he doesn't miss me. He is back feeding Jason Ackermanis. Effectiveness, really, a good, strong mark by Mitch Hahn. But just dopey play, whoever gave away the free kick in the forward line. You don't have the forward pocket, that's where it heads. Johnson. John Syracuse stepping around, keeping himself, keeping his options open. And across the face for a behind. But coming through Griffin. Couldn't pick it up. Murphy can. Ladson under pressure. Still going in the right direction for the Bulldogs. 
With the numbers for Hawthorne, eventually a rush behind by Ellis. Now it's fine. Missed this target. Ackerman is still there for the Western Bulldogs. Going backwards. Murphy did. Good tackler. Got through Rioli. They're oh. still going. Murphy's released. 60 metres from goal. Heads home. Heads left. How good was that to keep the ball alive? They go again. The Western Bulldogs from the stoppage. Addison to Nathan Eagleton. They share by hands. 28 disposals now for Cross. Ackermanis, the vision is good to Griffin. Yes, He's got time to give it to Boyd. In game 100, he can almost ice the contest. He does. They are going to kick on in this game. This margin could be a big one. They're winning. As a matter of fact, I think we've just got uh, carried away thinking about Hawthorne, how yeah. good they can be. But they've been blown apart here. Not just on the scoreboard, but every indicator that says you have to be competitive has gone the Western Bulldogs' way. He'd be pretty happy with that. Yeah. Which, I'm not sure the way he kicked it would have made a difference. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> Ackermanis gets up underneath this one. Gian Syracuse, oh. wonderful work, of body work by him. They seem to start on the bench every week. 23 they... disposals. Sorry, Liam, 23 disposals. Make it 24 and make it a goal. Give him a real spark where it's required. Once a boy out of the centre square pushes forward and kicks goals, he's a talented player, a really talented footballer. Crossed 30 disposals, Cooney 27, Boyd 25. It's 25 all between Boyd and Mitchell. You take that in. Lost. Kick of the siren last week that Brad Johnson didn't make. And they're going to come up with a wonderful victory here in Launceston. As Jan Syracuse has spots Murphy. I guess the downside for them. I didn't think it was over the top anyway. 20 goals, two coming into the game. Very rarely misses, but not to be this time. Forward. Going nowhere. Siren sounds. Win number 750 from the Western Bulldogs, and of late, one of their best performances. Round 10, they now go to eight wins, one loss, one draw, and they make a statement not just to Hawthorne, their opponents today, but everyone watching right around the country on Fox Sports that they are a very, very good football team. Matty, uh, coming down to Tassie against an undefeated team, what a terrific win. Yeah, fantastic. The boys really dug deep and. Uh... Just shows we've come a long way uh, in this, the past year, so really good result. Are you just setting a standard now, and, and that's what's uh, expected every week? Yeah, it is, and we're really working on consistency, trying to maintain a consistent four-quarter four effort and week in, week out, so that was fantastic today. What about the tackle pressure? Did you do, do a little bit of homework during the week on Hawthorne? Yeah, we did. We knew that they were really good at getting their arms free and uh, really hard at it, so we need to, uh, to nullify that through tackling, and uh, yeah, it was a good effort. And yourself, 100 games, thanks, uh, head and shoulder racker. 100 games, did you ever think you were going to get there? Oh, no, probably not, mate. Probably not. Coming off the rookie list, you know, um, I was happy to just play one game, but uh, 100 games, good effort, yeah. Oh, it's a fantastic effort, mate. Well done. Congratulations. Go and enjoy the win. Thanks, me. Thanks, boys.